it's exciting. It's a lot of new faces, um, a lot of learning, a little bit rusty here and there, but um, overall I thought it was a really good day and a lot of the new guys got to really have a feel for um, really what a D1 program looks like and um, what kind of we really expect from that, so it was really good. No doubt, um, we have a lot of good, good guys coming in, even walk-ons that are just um, higher tier players that can really help us on and off the field. Um, and then the incoming class, I mean, no doubt. I mean, this is just uh, every year we're raising the bar a little, a little bit higher and higher, and um, it's going to be really good. Here and there, I mean, you definitely up O-line, you got David and everything, the yeah. huge mammoth and everything. and. Uh, I'm very thankful the coaches went and found Von Trell. He's going to make my life a lot easier. <laughs> um, really appreciate that. But yeah, I mean, size and athleticism and speed is really noticeable. Um, I mean, I got to be honest, when they left, I was a little bit worried. But um, with the new guys coming in and Brian Price and Von Trell after he gets, you know, once Brian Price gets healthy and all the new guys, we have a lot of depth and we have a lot of athleticism at that point. And so we're always going to do the same thing where we have the four man rotation and keep our guys fresh. And um, Coach Rourke's going to get them right. I'm really not worried about that too much. Even the guys that aren't scholarship, they're uh, more than capable. And so, I mean, we have eight guys strong right now, and um, it's all a competition. I, you know, I know I don't, I'm not going to, you know, it's not my, um, I don't have it sold up or anything, but, um, you know, we just have a lot of athleticism there too. I mean, Lakel coming in, already got an interception today. I mean, he's just playing really well already. Picking guys just, uh, are picking up things a lot faster. Um, really learning the defense at an early stage, which can really help once we get to two days. If, if need be, um, we're more than capable with the hog position, but um, I know the hog position if he needs me, so um, I don't anticipate me having to do that, but you never know with injuries and whatnot. Um, you know, so I'm, I'm more than capable, but so. um, We definitely did have a different mindset, which ended up hurting us a lot last year, um, no doubt. And we still have a lot of those guys from that very first uh, you know, team coming out against Northeastern Oklahoma. Um, and yeah, we have to come back to that chip on our shoulder. That's the only way where we can be an extremely dangerous team is to be the underdog and to have people doubt us. And when we're expected to win games, we're going to go out there and still dominate. And so we're definitely going to go out there and find that again. And with a lot of new faces, we're going to have that underdog mentality. I'm pretty sure that and um, it'll be a lot better. I, I promise you, I dream about it now. I, I do. But, but it's, it's exciting. It's, it's a tough, that's a tough four, first four games, no doubt, even if you're a BCS team. Um, those are all four good, really good opponents. And, um, you know, I'm not too worried about it. I'm, you know, focused on Arizona. And um, we, we let one slip last year. And um, I'm really excited to go back up there and um, prove them wrong.